It's time for our Tech, Tech Tuesday report, and our first story gives us a glimpse into the future. There's a breakthrough development in the field of artificial intelligence. I don't know if this is good. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Um, OpenAI has unveiled a new language model called ChatGPT. So here's the thing. It's capable of understanding and generating human-like text. ChatGPT has been trained on a massive data set of internet content, allowing it to respond to a wide range of topics with impressive accuracy. Here is the kicker for you. We didn't write that last paragraph. Chat GPT wrote it. Our producer <laughs> simply uh, typed in, write me a news story about Chat GPT, and the system generated that entire copy you're watching right there. Microsoft announced it's expanding its partnership with OpenAI, which is the company, of course, creating the software. Now, here are the concerns, if you haven't already thought of them. What does this mean for human jobs and students everywhere? For example, a professor at the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School gave it an exam prompt and asked for an answer. Well, based on the answer given, it would have received a B or a B minus if it were a real student. I think that I read he actually gave it the final exam and it passed the final exam. Didn't go to a class, Which, didn't take a note. No, and that's scary. You know why that's scary to me? Because now you might actually have kids graduating from college knowing nothing about what they're supposed to be studying if we're not careful. Yeah, I think that's a very real possibility. It's crazy when you think about how much computers can do it. And also, writers, think about all, I mean, that story was written, that paragraph was written by this prompt. Right. So, I mean, news stories, you could type in a few key words, and there it goes. I just don't want people to lose their job over this. I don't either. You know? And I don't want students to have shortcuts in school that I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, meanwhile, will Netflix finally crack down on password sharing among users? We've been hearing about this for a while. The company says its new practice will start rolling out by the end of March, so now we know when it's coming. It'll be similar to recent tests run in Latin American countries where viewers outside the primary household had to create a sub account to the tune of an additional two to three dollars per month. So Netflix hasn't revealed what the price tag will be in the U.S. This first broke last spring though when Netflix lost subscribers for the first time in more than a decade. So get ready. Yeah. It's been a problem of theirs for a very long time and now they're trying to do something about it. Yeah.